All right, for today, we're going to be learning about chords. What a chord is, it's a segment that goes from the, from the, from a, from a corner of the circle to another point of the circle. So it starts on the circle and ends on the circle, uh, on the same circle, obviously. I'm um, looking at, for example, this one. That's a chord because it begins and ends on the circle, right? The end points are on the circle. One chord that we're, we're familiar with, that we, we know, it's a diameter, right? We, we, you guys know the diameter of a circle. That is a special chord. We call it special just because it goes through the center of the circle. But it, a chord doesn't have to go through the center. Now, the interesting part of chords is that when they cross at 90 degrees with the segment that starts from the radius, I mean, from the center of the circle. So when they cross at 90 degrees with the segment that starts from the center of the circle, I'm looking at this other segment. So when that segment and the chord intersect at 90 degrees, the chord is going to be cut in half. So in this case, I see X is in tenths on the same side of the chord. So I'm going to say X is equal to 10. Once again, when a segment starting from the center of the circle crosses a 90 degrees with the chord, the chord gets cut in half. Right? I'm saying starting from the center of the circle, we think of a radius, but it doesn't have to be the entire radius. Just a segment starting from the center. Okay. Now, looking at question number two, I see that X, in this case, is a radius. Right? It's starting from the center of the circle all the way out. X is the radius. If I'm able to find another radius, I'm going to say they're equal. And I'm going to say this is another radius. So in this case, X is equal to 20. Right? One radius equals another radius. There's an, a third radius, but I just needed two. So this is the easy stuff from today. I'm not going to say the work is going to be that hard, but this is the easy stuff. Remember, a chord gets cut in half when it crosses a 90 degrees with the segment starting from the center. I'm going to get more details on this one tomorrow. But for today, a radius equals another radius. So let's take a look at a couple more examples. Remember, keep in mind, one radius equals another radius. So I'm going to call that a radius, right? Starting from the center all the way out. X is not the entire radius. X is part of the radius. In this case, I'm going to say 8.6 plus X. That's the radius. Now, let me find another radius, which is that one. And that is 18.3. So 8.6 plus X equals 18.3. That follow me so far? Yeah. All right. Let me subtract 8.6. To find out what X is. And in this case, I find out is 9.7. You will be dealing with decimals, yes. So uh, the idea here is one radius equals another radius. Here, number four, that's a radius. 10 plus X. Keep in mind I said 10 plus. I didn't call it 10X because 10X is multiplying. I'm saying 10 plus x equals, I need to find another radius. I'm going to look at the 31.2 because it is on the center of the circle. I'm telling you that 31.2 is the diameter. So the whole thing is 31.2. So divided by, you know, divided in by half, divided by two, the half of 31.2 is 15.6. So the radius is 15.6. Once again, because I put the 31.2 in the center, I'm telling you that's the diameter. So I have the 10 plus X equals 15.6. Wait, hold on. And how do you get the half of 31.2? Oh. Sure. Now, to solve for X is easy. Let me subtract 10. X in this case is 5.6. Right? One radius equals another radius. Yeah, makes sense? Any questions?